Garrett in Stuttgart, Germany, a place that I once lived in. I lived in Ludwigsburg and Stuttgart, Bremerhaven, München, and Frankfurt. Okay. So, Garrett writes to me from Stuttgart, Germany, and he says, I've learned from you <laughs> uh -oh, uh, about the negative impact of dimmer switches on power quality in the home and subsequently removed them from mine. Good. However, I was wondering if and how smart bulbs that dim wirelessly via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi impact my home's power quality. Okay. Um, well, there's a, uh, let me give you a little bit of history here. Uh, and, and I will start off for those who are saying, I don't want to sit through five minutes of him babbling on about this or that just to hear the answer. So the answer is modern dimmers of any quality are no longer bad for the AC power line. Modern dimmers, the LED kind that you're talking about, really don't seem to have much of an impact on the AC power line anymore. So there you go. Okay. Years ago, when all this started, if you remember back when we had the little knobs and we turn it up and down, you hear this, it, it, they buzz, they did. What they used to do is literally take a, a triac and, and chop off the waveform. They, I mean, they were nasty. They were very nasty. That was way in the early days. They were trying to do things that worked. They didn't care about, you know, sensitive electronics. Uh, you couldn't get that. I mean, today we have things like uh, CE, where the standards for what you can do damage-wise to the power line, to radiated uh, space, to, to the amount of power you use, uh, you know, the, 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 the uh, what does CE stand for? Um, it's the European Union's standard. I should probably know what it stands for. I don't remember. Anyway, whatever it stands for, they're really strict and they're really stringent on, on what kind of damage you can do. And it's minimal at best. So today it's not a problem. If you have old dimmers in your house, you remember the kind, the little knob on it, you push them in and turn it on, push it, turn it off. And it, you, sometimes you'd hear this, zzz, zzz, you know, get those suckers out of there. But a modern day Lutron or any of those, not a problem. I wouldn't even worry about it. And, and I, we've got dimmers all through this place. Doesn't bother a thing. Okay? So good. And by the way, um, a few of you have asked in yesterday's video where I was kind of standing in the same room. And these are the FR10s. Aren't these cool? These beauties are going to be out probably near the end of the year. This is 2023. And these are great speakers. I'm really excited about these. It's finally getting down into the affordability range. So very cool speakers, the FR10. Okay. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later. Bye.